10 boots and shoes you need. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My goal is to help you look and feel incredible, to look and feel like the very best version of yourself every single day. Today I'm gonna help you do that by talking about shoes and boots you need. And all of these are from Nordstrom. Huge thank you to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. I feel like in terms of shoes, there's nobody that does shoe selection better than Nordstrom. They have such a huge range from super high end to comfort shoes, boots, shoes, sneakers. If I'm looking for a pair of shoes, that's my first stop on my list. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys 10 of my favorite boots and shoes from Nordstrom and give you some ideas. Some of these are definitely like need basis, like those basics and those essentials that I always talk about. And some of them are a little more fun. So they're just more like trendy or just something that would add a little freshness and excitement to your wardrobe. So I'll kind of delineate which is which as we go through the list. So let's get started. Okay, the first pair of boots I wanna show you is a pair by Sam Edelman. It's a suede knee-high Sam Edelman boot. They are really cool because they sort of pull double duty. You could pull them straight and make them a classic knee-high boot, or you can scrunch them down and give them a little bit more of a casual look and a little bit more lower of shaft height. So either way you wear it, they look fantastic. The color that I love is called Golden Caramel. These boots have sold out and restocked already twice. You guys may remember I mentioned these during the anniversary sale, so that's when they were first introduced. So they will restock if your size is not available. I am betting it will restock again. There are some sizes still available. They also come in black, but it's just a great classic boot, like the almond shaped toe, the rounded toe, the stacked heel, very classic, very wearable, very versatile, very neutral. And what I love about this color, sort of skin color, is that you can wear it. It looks just beautiful with skirts and dresses. It creates that long line that we talk about a lot. And you can also wear it over your, your skinny jeans or your leggings. So here I've paired it with a pair of white skinny jeans, which as you remember, I say are not reserved for summer. You can wear them right now in the winter season. They're year round. So I paired them over these white skinny jeans and a really chunky dolman sleeve sweater by Topshop. I love this sweater so much. You can pull it off the shoulder, pull it off one shoulder. The only thing about a sweater like this that's so oversized and chunky is then when you try to layer a coat on top of that, you have to have a really oversized coat to do it or cocoon coat because this sweater is just so thick and chunky. But if you're hanging out at home or you're going to run errands or it's not that cold where you are, then it's a great sweater or you just layer a really oversized coat over it. But you can always streamline it a bit more and do like a fuzzy white turtleneck or some sort of white top that you really love and that you already have in your closet. It's just a great look. It's really fresh. It's really different for the season. It's just so feminine and pretty too. Like I just, it just brightens everything up. I love this look, but again, you can wear these boots with dresses as well. So I did feature these boots on the blog with a polka dotted dress, polka dotted maxi dress that was really pretty. So you can go that route with these boots too. The second pair of boots I wanna feature is a black suede ankle booty by Vince Camuto. These are great booties because you can dress them up or dress them down. So you can wear them just with jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a sweater, or you could dress them up even more by wearing them as skirts and dresses. Or in this look, you'll see an example of something you could do for a more casual holiday party. So you pair the booties with a pair of really dark wash skinny jeans, no fading or whiskering. These jeans, by the way, are the pair that I always talk about. They're my most worn pair of jeans for sure and they run large, so size down if you do end up getting these, but they're ankle length, so if you're petite, it's the perfect length, you don't need to hem them. They tuck into the boots great, you know, there's no bunching. If you're taller, they're also awesome because they'll frame a beautiful statement shoe or booty, so you really can't go wrong with this pair of jeans, they're my favorite. And then I paired that with a really beautiful high neck blouse, very feminine, and I'm actually wearing the blouse backwards here, you could wear it the other way around and just have the high neck be the drama or you could wear it backwards and have the tie be the drama. And then over that, I've put a Veronica Beard scuba blazer. This one is a dicky blazer, meaning you can zip in and zip out dickies to create a layered look. 
but I've zipped out the Dickies. I don't know how many times I've talked about the Veronica Beer Blazers, but if you're going to invest in one of the Veronica Beer Blazers, I would definitely make it the black scuba blazer. I think that's the most wearable and the most versatile. So this is an example of a holiday party outfit you could pull out in a pinch when it's not super dressy and you still wanna look festive. So how do you add that festivity? You just wear a pair of sparkly earrings like I'm doing here with these bobble bar gold beaded earrings. That's all you need. You need great jeans, great shoes, a blazer, a blouse, very feminine, and then add a little sparkle with your accessories and you're done. It's so easy. That's like the simplest holiday party outfit. One note about these ankle boots, the heel is quite high. So if heels are an issue for you, then you may want to opt for a pair with a lower heel that might be easier for you to walk in. And I will put a pair right below this pair that I recommend for you all to try if you're interested in investing in a pair of black ankle boots. Okay, the third pair of shoes I wanted to share with you all is a pair of wedge sneakers. And if you're a regular viewer, you know I've mentioned these before. I am a huge fan of these sneakers because they add height and they're also incredibly comfortable. So if you're a busy mom on the move or a busy woman on the go, these are awesome sneakers to have. They're super cute. You could even pair them with a dress if you wanted to do something a little bit edgier, but in a traditional sense, skinny jeans, sweater, good to go. These sneakers are, like I said, very, very comfortable. And they come in like 15 different colors. So I got the camo print pair, but you could do black or gray or white, or they have so many different combinations. So I will put a link to these below in the description box along with sizing, because I, if memory serves, the sizing is a little weird for this particular pair of sneakers. And I paired these with skinny jeans, a cute balloon sleeve baseball tee, and you could also just wear a really pretty sweater with it. You could add a little color like I did with this fuzzy green turtleneck sweater. You have a lot of options with these sneakers. They will be incredibly versatile, you'll see. I even paired them with a really chic trench coat and scarf uh, at one of my kids' lacrosse games. So you'll see they're very versatile and wearable. The next pair of booties I wanna talk about is the Mark Fisher suede pointed toe booties in a beautiful tan color. I love this color. I've talked extensively about how brown is back in all shades of brown and that that's a great neutral if you're not into black or even if you just wanna mix things up and create a neutral wardrobe basic foundation. Those brown tones work really well. By the way, if you missed the video I did highlighting this as a huge trend this season, you can watch that video. I will put a link to it below in the description box. There's a lot that you can do with these brown ankle boots. Here's an example of me wearing sort of a head to toe brown outfit. It's brown corduroys with a sort of a rust colored cardigan sweater and these tan booties. That's just another fun option. But again, you know, just like regular jeans, it's so easy, like a white sweater, dark wash jeans, these boots, you can wear that all day long. Great uniform for the season. Just a side note about sizing. All of the Sam Edelman, Vince Camuto, and Mark Fisher boots and shoes run true to size. So I'm a seven and a half in those brands, and I know that when I order a seven and a half, it's almost always going to fit me, like 98% of the time going to fit me. And I think that's really great because ordering shoes and having to send them back is such pain. So I love that they have that uniformity with their size. The fifth pair of shoes I wanted to show you is a pair of snow boots, but these are sort of the everyday snow boot for me. These are the Ugg Wedge snow boots. They are slip on, slip off. They do have that cheerling on the inside of the boot to keep your foot incredibly warm. They are waterproof. They're very easy to get on and off despite not having a zipper. I love the hidden or the concealed wedge. It adds height, again, without sacrificing comfort in my opinion. I almost prefer to walk around on wedges than I do flats. And these booties are just, they're just so cute for winter. And then they're also so functional. They have a rubber sole with some traction, so you're not gonna slip and slide around in the snow or the ice. And for me, I want something that's so easy to put on. That's just my thing. Like, I don't wanna lace up the Sorel boots. I wanna slip on a boot and slip it off. It's just great to have that option and that functionality. And these boots come in black and they come in a really cute brown pair also. But if you don't already have a snow boot that you love, that is great for day to day, I think these are wonderful. I just wanted to talk for a minute about what I 
paired these boots with before I move on to the next pair of shoes. So these are the faux leather Spanx leggings that you all are sick of hearing about that every blogger and YouTuber talks about. <laughs> but sometimes when people talk about them so much, there's a reason it's because they're really that good. So these like suck everything in, they're warm, they look great. I paired it with a tunic top and a really long chunky cardigan by Topshop. It's just a really great everyday winter uniform type outfit. You could always swap out the cardigan for your heavy winter coat and you can easily wear that tunic with the leggings on its own. So that's something to think about with leggings. You wanna make sure like can the shirt stand alone when I take my coat off, am I comfortable? <laughs> so that's just something to think about. The next pair of shoes I wanted to share with you is actually a pair of boots. These are the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. And you guys, if you're regular viewers, you've seen me pairing these and wearing these a bunch. I did just recently do a video in three ways to wear your over the knee boots. So if you missed that one, I will put a link to it below. These boots are inherently very sexy. So often when I'm wearing them and I wanna wear them in a more casual way, I'll wear more conservative pieces on top. So you can just do like a dark wash skinny jean. I tend to go with blue because I don't want the boot to blend totally into the jean. I like a little contrast there so you can actually see the boot. And then here's one option, a uh, polka dotted, really pretty polka dotted blouse that would be so so sweet and so lovely for the office. And over that, I've paired it with a Veronica Beard black scuba blazer. And then the other look I wanted to show you with the over the knee boots is this two in one sweater by Brochu Walker. I did just do a blog post about two furs, I call them two in ones. The beauty of the two in one is that it creates that layered look without adding any bulk and it looks like you have artfully, skillfully layered your clothes and you've done absolutely nothing. But here you see again, a conservative top to offset the sexiness of those boots. And these boots are incredibly comfortable and the benefit of the Stuart Weitzman's is they do really stay up better than any other over the knee boot. And not to mention, they're just like really mold to your leg and it's a really high quality suede. That's another piece that I would say is worth the investment. All right, let's move on to the next pair of shoes. It's actually a pair of boots. It's called the Windshell by Vince Camuto. It's a moto boot, which I know will shock you guys. I feel like I talk about a moto boot like every other day. <laughs> I happen to be a big fan. What I love about the moto boot is that you've got something that's super wearable. Almost always the heel is pretty low and it's always a block heel. And also they're very edgy and modern. So you take like a boring everyday outfit, you add a moto boot and you look instantly cooler. It's like giving your whole look a level of coolness that didn't exist before, which I love. This pair of boots, by the way, I did feature on the blog. There's a matching pair for little girls that is the the cutest thing ever. I, Elizabeth and I got the matching pair. So the kids version has sequins that flip up and flip down and one side is gold and the other side is black. And Elizabeth loves hers. She like runs around in them. She's jumping and racing in them. She thinks they're the best thing ever. So anyway, just wanted to mention that because they are so darn cute. And here I just wanted to show you an option of how you can dress up the moto boot and how the moto boot can also make something that's inherently a little dressier, a little more casual. So it's my same holiday party uniform, except instead of the dressy ankle boots, if you swap out for the moto boots, it definitely adds this more casual element to the look. This is more like weekend friendly. So popping out for errands on the weekend, going to meet friends on the weekend, going shopping, going out to eat. It gives you that really functional footwear option but an interesting combination in terms of an outfit, mixing those hard and soft or masculine and feminine pieces together. The next pair of shoes I wanna highlight is a splurge item. It's the Chloe Susanna boot. These have been around for a few years and they don't show any signs of slowing down. I've had my eye on them for years and I finally invested in a pair this year because I did try a, a dupe last year and it fell apart and I got very frustrated. So I decided to invest in the real McCoy, but there are definitely options for less and I will put an option for less below in the description box. But what's so great about these boots 
Um, they really do add, like I talked about before, that edginess to your look, the buckles and the hardware. They're just really cool. And if you're someone like me that isn't really that cool, I feel like that <laughs> adds a cool factor that may not already exist. And if you're already cool, then it just adds even more coolness to you and your overall look. But these boots are just really comfortable. The leather is buttery soft and it molds to your foot. It's leather, so you should treat it um, and spray it. It will do pretty well in the weather. There is an option with shearling on the inside to keep your feet really warm if that's something you're interested in. I just have been wearing mine when it's not a super snowy day and I'll just wear it with a pair of smart wool, wool ped socks to keep my feet toasty warm. But here I paired them with the tunic top and the dark wash skinny jeans that I featured before. Just something really simple. Again, I feel like the beauty of a pair of boots like this is that you can throw them on with some real basic pieces and it's just gonna take that whole look up a notch. Speaking of Chloe boots, I wanted to show you a pair of boots from Nordstrom that are basically an exact dupe of another pair of Chloe booties that I've tried on. And this pair is by Treasure and Bond. It's in a Python print, just like the Chloe booties are. And they're really cool. Now here's an example of a pair of boots that is not the most versatile. It's not the most functional, but it just adds some fun. You know what I mean? It's just gonna really add some excitement. These booties are comfortable. They do have holes in them, so you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do when it's cold outside? So I think it looks great with a pair of black socks. Just wear a pair of black socks, and then when the weather starts to let up a little bit in the spring, you can easily go and wear them without socks. They have holes in them, they're breathable, but it's a very, very edgy, cool, modern boot. It does lace up, but there's a zipper in the back. I love those cheater zippers to make those shoes easier to get on and off and you don't have to deal with the laces. And I just think they're just really fun. It's just a really fun pair of booties. So I paired them here with a pair of really wide leg crop jeans by Rachel Comey and a white fuzzy turtleneck sweater. What I love about these jeans, by the way, is that they do frame and show off a cool pair of booties or boots or shoes or pumps because they're just slightly cropped. And the shape of the jeans is really fun too. Just that real fit through the hip and the thigh and then super wide at the bottom. I just had to show you these boots, totally not functional. Definitely not a necessity, but wanted to mention them. We're making our way down the list to number nine. So the ninth pair of shoes I wanna talk about is a pair of pumps by Vince Camuto. This is an exception in terms of sizing. These do run a little bit large. So if you're normally a seven in Vince Camuto, I would go with the six and a half. Or if you're normally seven and a half, go with the seven. This is like the newest pump shape. It has a really cool sculptural heel and then the rounded toe. It's more chunky. It looks a little bit like a, of a throwback. That's sort of the newer pump styles. So you could go more traditional pumps like these pumps by Jimmy Choo. These are a great classic pair of pumps. Or you could do something a little bit different, a little bit more modern, even though it feels like a throwback, like these Vince Camuto pumps. And the pumps, you know, you can wear with anything from jeans to skirts, to dresses. The key is, or the trick is, if you're in a snowy climate, you're like, well, what do I do? You can't wear pumps around on the ice and the snow. You obviously, you just put them in your bag and you wear your boots to work and then you put your pumps on when you get to the office. That's how I used to do it and that's how I would do it now. Don't discount wearing pumps this time of year just because the weather's crappy. Like it always makes you feel a little bit more like powerful and ready to conquer the world and you're wearing a pair of pumps. At least it does for me. <laughs> I paired them with some skinny jeans here, a really pretty velvet blouse by Frame. This would be beautiful for all of your holiday parties. And then over that I threw that same short, you know, cropped faux fur jacket, which just, I love that combination of black and brown. And I've talked about that before as well, but it's just such a chic color combination. Okay, moving on to number 10. The 10th pair of shoes that you need to have in your closet is these gorgeous leopard booties, leopard print booties by Vince Camuto. This is another example of a pair of booties that is more about fun 
than it is function. Although I consider an animal print to be a real neutral and a basic, it definitely is not quite as versatile as say a black or a gray or a tan. This is just gonna add that pop to your look. So let's say you're wearing like a basic cashmere crew neck sweater in white or ivory and then you've got some dark wash skinny jeans. You throw on a pair of these booties and the whole look is transformed. You know, it's just one of those things where it's just fun to have in your wardrobe because you can just you can just pull everything together with this one pair of booties and here's an example of how i styled it with all white but you don't have to go the all white route you could do just regular blue jeans you could wear them with a black dress that would be really fun and cool you know you have options with these they're a lot more versatile and functional than you think and as per usual, I wanted to share some bonus shoes with you. The first pair of bonus shoes is a pair of loafers by Vince Camuto. And if you have been on the flat shoe hunt and you like loafers, these are amazing because not only do they look smart and sharp and really sophisticated, they also are incredibly comfortable. The way the leather suede molds to your foot and it's so flexible and it's lightweight and it's breathable. There's no weirdness going on in the back of the heel. Just a very comfortable pair of loafers and you can go full menswear with the loafer and do a really tailored blazer, even a plaid shirt like I'm doing here. Or you can add some more feminine touches to really offset the masculinity of the shoes. Totally up to you. The next pair of bonus shoes I want to share with you guys is a Western inspired pair by Sam Edelman. And remember I said Western inspired is a huge trend right now. It really is. And you'll see a lot of those cowboy boot or Western-y type details incorporated into regular shoes and boots as well as clothes. If you've been on the hunt for a pair of Western inspired booties, these are great. They do run narrow. So if you have a wider foot, I would suggest not looking at these. But if you have a narrow foot, they are going to be perfect for you. By the way, if you're like, wait a minute, did Erin change her clothes and her hair and her makeup? Yes, yes I did. And that's because uh, I accidentally deleted a clip. So huge thank you again to Nordstrom for sponsoring this video. You guys will let me know if you have any questions. I will put links to everything in the description box for you all to check out if you're interested. The Nordstrom Half yearly sale is coming up, so be on the lookout for that. I will be doing a couple of blog posts to promote that with my picks. So definitely pop over to busbystyle.com for that Nordstrom half yearly sale, which starts right after Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.